Good morning. Hey there. My name is Miss Sabrina and I'm an educator with Trees Atlanta. Thank you all for joining us again for story time this morning. We are going to be reading B. I peeked through a book today and making a craft. But as always, I'm going to go over a couple of things before we get started. Just so you guys know about Trees Atlanta, we're a nonprofit organization where we plant trees, we restore our forests, and we also facilitate education classes for anybody around who's interested in learning, having fun, and learning about nature. So if you are interested in coming out to more programs, we have some more programs today. I'll be doing a tree ID class at noon today. And then tomorrow we'll have a paper making class around noon as well. And then we'll also have story time. Um, if you wanna say, hey, who you are, I saw a couple of familiar names in the registration list. So you can say, hey, in the chat feature on the bottom. Or if you have a question, you can ask a question in the chat feature and I'll get to those at the end. And I also sent you all an email. I hope you all were able to get that. If you didn't get it, it's totally fine. Um, I got this idea a little bit last minute, but that's okay. For our craft today, I sent you guys a link to the supplies you would need, um, and also a link to the actual page so you can see the instructions. Hey, so, hey Susan. Um, but if you didn't see that, if you are able to real quick, you'll just need um, toilet paper roll. You'll need blue. You will need yellow construction paper. You'll also need a pair of child-friendly scissors. You'll also need a black sheet of construction paper and then a color of your choice. I chose green and you see some holes in it already. And that's because I had already made an example of a craft but I'm still gonna do it again today. And the last thing you'll want, if you have it, would be some googly eyes. So I have a bunch of googly eyes. They can also draw on googly eyes if you want to. All right, so without further ado, it is springtime. Hi, Nakia. Let's learn about the bee. Hey, Marshall, good morning. Okay. I might finagle this just a little bit. B, a peek through picture book by Britta Seconton. It's a very interesting name. I know you guys have probably seen a lot of bees right now because of the season that we're in. And you also might hear my six month old in the background. Actually, he just turned seven months old today. Some beautiful pictures of bee of flowers. Bees love flowers, of course. And here we go. Dawn is the breaking on a brand new day. And in the meadow, poppies sway. A bee appears, striped black and gold. A wonder of nature is about to unfold. You'll notice we have these little peek throughs as you go through the story. In the treetops, birds start to sing. The little bee beats her wings. As she travels here and there, a gentle humming fills the air. I'm sure you're all familiar with the beautiful sound of bees flying. Back and forth, to and fro, B knows exactly where to go. Visiting flowers of every hue, she has a special job to do. <laughs> Gathering nectar as she goes from Every foxglove, every rose, dusty with pollen, the little bee buzzes, buzzes busily. All that pollen. Bee travels on from bloom to bloom, 
drawn in by their sweet perfume. <laughs> Harvesting flowers one by one. The compass is the midday sun. Not sure if you guys see these adorable creatures in the background being buddies. And there's a little owl peeking out. Among the orchard apple trees, blossoms quiver in the breeze. Carrying pollen from place to place, bee always leaves a tiny trace. And we just learned that is pollen. All that yellow dusty stuff going around. Flowers, as far as the eye can see, too many flowers for just one bee. Wow, it's a lot, a lot of flowers. Would you love to be in a meadow like this? I know I would. All of a sudden, bee is gone. She has a message to pass on. I wonder what it could be. Back at the hive, woo! He spreads the news. There's work to be done, no time to lose. Listen for their gentle humming. The word is out, the bees are coming. Buzzing over the dense hedge groves, Pass the pond where the wild thyme grows. Through the orchard, sweet smelling scent, the bees travel on with calm intent. As lilies grow, glow orange in the sun, the bees must finish what they've begun. Stopping at every flower they find, leaving the gift of pollen behind. Bees pass over a woodland stream, droplets sparkle and pebbles gleam. Water trickles, bubbles and weaves, a weeping willow trails its leaves. It's a beautiful sight of bees. As the bees fly on through buds and burrs, a tiny miracle occurs. So many plants and flowers you see were given life by one small bee. The Hooray! So that was B, a peek through picture book. We learned or we followed B's journey through pollinating flowers and also while pollinating flowers creating fruits and vegetables that we people might like to eat. Oh, we couldn't see the bees to the peek through hole. I wonder. Well, here's a really good one. There's our bee. Okay. Thank you. This book comes in a lot of different formats. They have one about bees and they also have one about trees that I will be doing sometime in the future. So stay tuned for that. So that was be a peek through book.
book. I wanted to share this with y'all because of course the bees are out right now. I think it's pretty important to appreciate how special bees are to us. They are these tiny little creatures that do magical things. They fly from flower to flower and they collect their nectar and they spread pollen. And by spreading that pollen, they're able to help us get the fruits and vegetables that we all like to eat. So bees are pretty important. Um, and the craft we want to make today will show a little bit of our appreciation for bees. It's also just a little bit fun to do. And it is this magnificent toilet paper bee. Ooh. So this is uh, the one I made last night, but I'll go through it and walk y'all all through the steps so that if it doesn't make too much sense, um, you can also watch this video and do it um, on your own. So this is what we'll do. First, we have our toilet paper roll. Hooray! I want to wrap my toilet paper roll in to some yellow construction paper so I can make my body. So I just cut where I thought the toilet paper roll would end. There's a little gib down there, but that's fine. I'll fix that at the end. But what you'll do is you will put some wonderful glue. Let's see. I'll use my book to help me out. We want to put some glue on it. So of course it will stick. And I like to just put glue on one side first. And then we'll go ahead and we'll start to stick that on. And then what I'll do is I'm just going to roll it until it wraps around my entire toilet paper roll. And just like I did the first time, I'm going to go ahead and glue over here too so that this can stick as well. So I'll roll that up. Okay. It doesn't stick all the way. You can probably just put some glue on the outside too. And that works pretty well. Perfect. All right. So now we have our B wrapped up in his yellow construction paper. Let's give him some stripes. Okay, so we're going to need our black construction paper. So with this, I kind of just measure it out based on how wide I want my bands to be. And I'm not going to cut too much. But what I will do is I will make both of these even because I do need at least two strips. And y'all won't see this part, so I want to make sure that I know what I'm doing. All right, so we have our two bands. Once again, we get our glue and we are going to glue, glue, glue all over that band. Okay. And now we're going to go ahead and stick this first one on. I'm just gonna start on the bottom, anywhere I kind of feel like going. And then I'm just going to wrap it around. Cool. One, whoops, almost. One band down, one to go. All right, that's my first one. Let's do our second one. Glue, glue, glue. Okay, got that on there. And now we're going to stick this on. 
wrap it around. Okay, cool. So now I got my two bands. What's next? I need to, let's do some wings next actually. So for the wings part, I'm just going to reuse this construction paper that I did last time. And you know what? I need to get a pen. So pause real quick. And I'm back. Cool. So I kind of just made up my design for how I wanted my wings to go. So you can do that too. So I did. One. Let's do another one. And if it's not perfect, that's totally fine. That's really the whole fun of this. And crafts. So that you can make what you want with your own imagination. So I'm just going to cut these out. I'm sure there are stencils somewhere, but like I said, making your own is also tons of fun. One wing, just got the other one. You can't fly with just one wing. We need both of them. That, that. All right, cool. So we have two wings. Let us now of course, put some glue on it. So for here, I think I actually like to, I'm gonna first glue my wings to each other. And then I'm gonna glue the wings by putting some glue here to the B. Let's let them fly. Let's put you over. Let's do that. All right, almost there. We need antennas. So you can use a black construction paper that you used before, and you can just glue two little strips as your antennas. So I have a strip of black and shape for here. I'm just gonna cut it in half. And I just made up the size of my antennas, because why not? Glue, glue, and then let's figure out where we want to put our antennas. Let's do one here. Woohoo! I'm going to also, this is me. And then we'll put one over here. Cool. All right, what's next? We need a face. We definitely need a face. So if you don't have googly eyes, you can just draw them. That's cool. You got whatever you want. But if you do got googly eyes, this just makes it a little bit faster. Um, but really, that's about it. So you can really do whatever you would like. It's your B. All right. So. I have two googly eyes 
that I will show you now. Mine are kind of cool because they look like this. But on the back of it, it's actually a sticker. So I'm just going to peel that sticker off. Sometimes, ah, this is why you could also just draw your own eyes. There we go, there's one side. Okay, so I have this little peely thing. I'll put that up later. Put one eye here. Oh, well, so he's in the middle. Let's move that. One eye there. Okay, cool. And then we need another eye. So we are not a one eyed bee. That would be an interesting sight. Okay. This is my last sticker. I believe in you, sticker. You can unstick. Okay. There we go. There we go. Sorry about that, y'all. I would have peeled these stickers before, but of course, if I did that, it would have stuck to something I couldn't find. All right, we got that. Let's put our last eye there. Wonderful. And this is the last part that we may do. We can just draw our face on there however we would want. So I like to start with my little. I do these little lines here. It kind of tells you where my smile is going to be. And then I am just going to link those two together. And there we have our bee. So my buddy, my first bee now has a buddy. All right. So that is it for our story time and our craft. I hope that you enjoyed that. I know that I did. If you make a bee craft, you could definitely send that to me. I'd be interested in seeing what your bee looks like. It's all just fun to get fun emails like that throughout the day. And let's see, yay, Marshall. And I, uh, yeah, that's about it. So be a peek through book. Join us later on at noon for tree ID. And then tomorrow we're gonna be making some paper. So that's gonna be a lot of fun too. I will see you all. Next time, go outside and plant and have some fun in nature. I'll see you later.